Howdy y'all, we're here at Fort Wilderness. We are here outside of P&J's Southern Takeout, also known as Trail and Takeout. But yeah, so we're here to try the takeout that you can get uh, if you're not staying at one of the campsites, but it's also a very good option if you are looking for some food. Well, I've never been here before, so I'm excited. I've only ever eaten at Hoopty Doo, and that's it. When I come, because when I come here, I'll just bring, I'll go and buy food at the Trading Post or at Publix, and I'll keep it in my cabin. Yeah, but they have uh, inside. I believe they have chicken. They have some barbecue sandwiches, kind of like a, a little bit of like a best of stuff you might be able to get from the buffet. Maybe in terms of like sandwiches or whatever. You know, they they've got food there, so we we got to try it out. We got to see it. Well. We have our giddy up and go feast here in these two massively large bags. Two bags. Two bags. Uh, it comes with eight pieces of fried chicken, cornbread, uh, then potatoes. a choice oh, of sides. mashed potatoes and gravy, uh, macaroni and cheese, french fries, or coleslaw. And we went with mashed potatoes. Mac and, and macaroni and cheese. Of course. Already forgot. So it's been quite a while since we ordered um, to get it. So there wasn't any chicken fresh and ready. So we needed to wait at least a half an hour. And uh, so, yes, we are famished right now. So no more time a wasting. Let's giddy up and go. Oh. Do us the honor. Uh, oh, no. Oh, yeah. There's that chickeny goodness. Mm, 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 mm. Is that eight pieces you said? Eight pieces. Mm. Eight pieces, no plates. This is gonna get interesting. Probably should've got plates. We have no plates. If you take it back to your campsite, you probably already have plates there. Rhino, how, how are you eating your mac and cheese? I put it on the, the lid. And I put a lot of pepper on it to jazz it up so it's like top chef chic. But really it's just, I feel like a raccoon that we have just invaded this thing and now we're eating it off of uh, the stuff here. But I'm gonna try this mac and cheese, let you, let you know how this goes. Pretty good, not bad. The cheese a little ketchup. I'm a ketchup on mac and cheese person. Oh. Yeah, I know. Um, the cornbread was a little hard. Craig pointed out that it's, it's thin. It's too thin because it was baked in a pan and not in the appropriate loaf pan. Um, but uh, the chicken chicken is real good it's like not overly breaded it's like it's and it's not like super super greasy for me so I, I don't know I, I really enjoy this so it means you can have that one extra piece without feeling terrible about yourself yeah no, no plates so we gotta gotta make do with what we did I put my potatoes and my macaroni and cheese inside the box where the cornbread is we downsized the cornbread to the chicken box and now I'm just eating this chicken. Uh, this massive piece of chicken. A whole chicken brush. That's why I have my hands like that. That's juicy. Um, oh, that's real good. Yeah, I mean it's the same chicken that they have inside Trails End as well as uh, as well as Hoopty Doo. It all shares the same thing. So, uh, chicken's phenomenal. It's it's juicy. It's breaded well. How's those mac and how's the uh, mashed potatoes? I didn't talk about those yet. I haven't had them yet. This is the most terrible video ever. It's actually not bad. Um, you know, they're really, like, I'm at home when I make my mashed potatoes, I really whip them up good. I'm not a chunky mashed potato guy. These ones are chunky. Um, so I'm, I'm actually kind of enjoying it. It's something different. Uh, and the gravy's, gravy's gravy. You can tell there's a Oops, we're gonna have to bleep that out. You can tell there's a ton of butter in there. <laughs> we bleeped both of those out, that's okay. But look at look at the butter in there. Just sitting on top on the sides. Oh yeah. Yeah. So <laughs> it's pretty good. <laughs> Till the outro to point this out, but I don't believe this meal's meant for two people. <laughs> <laughs> pretty sure this was a family meal. I'm pretty sure this was a family meal. Um, but we did it. 
we did do it. Oh God, I'm so full. Yeah, no, it's it's uh, might end up walking the entire way back to the car. Yeah, it's, it's one of those like deep breaths, deep breaths. Yeah, I, again, just feeling all that butter and oil sink into you. Yeah, I, I I do not believe, although there was there was eight pieces of chicken. I would say that was a hearty serving of macaroni and cheese. We couldn't finish it all. Yeah. Uh, same with the mashed potatoes and five pieces of cornbread. I genuinely believe that that's a meal that technically a family of four, uh, two adults, two kids, would you get absolutely two, eat by themselves. Two pieces of chicken. Yeah. Yeah. Two pieces of chicken. Everyone gets a little side and a piece of cornbread. That's a great meal, uh, whether for lunch or dinner. And it was uh, it was just under twenty five dollars after tax. Um, so actually very, very reasonable. Yeah, and when you when you think too. about that, if you're feeding more than I mean even even just for two people, that's twelve or not I'm sorry, I can't yeah, it's like yeah, twelve fifty. Like yeah, and that's a pretty good deal. I, I need to point out too with that, you can just get a, a chicken meal with you get two pieces of chicken, um, you get the choice of two sides and a piece of cornbread, that's nine ninety nine. So really if you have two people just go for the big meal. Yeah, you're gonna get, get way more yeah. food. You might have some leftovers if you're staying on site. Yeah, that's so. a good deal. Yeah. yeah, I know you can call the cabin and have it like picked up and like ready to go when you come up here, scoot up here to grab it and stuff like that. But I thought it was pretty good for if you're just coming over to. I mean, right now it's Halloween season, so you can come over and see all the decorated cabins and um, uh, campsites and stuff like yeah. that. So it might be a nice like park walk up, go have some lunch, walk it off on the way back, and check out all the. Uh, the decorated places yeah no uh you definitely need to walk though uh, p and j's southern kitchen takeout i think you got a real hit on your hands yeah so if you've been here before uh, you know let us know what your experience was like i will say that when we walked in they um the the menus are not updated they say dinner 4 30 to like 9 30 or 10 or 11 as well as a breakfast takeout but... yeah but they do start, they do lunch from 11 to close now. Yep. And I will say it feels like they don't actually want you to come and get lunch there though because it was very difficult to get somebody yes. to help us. I believe Kim, Kim yes. was her name? Kim, and she was very, very nice. She was nice. fantastic. Yeah. Kim was great. Uh, the rest of the service there was horrendous. Yeah, garbage. I probably should not have left such a big space in between there. It was bad. <laughs> so, um, uh, yeah. It just kind of like, I, my thing is like, two people that are just talking in an empty restaurant and see you standing there waiting and don't come over to ask you like hey can we help you with anything do you guys you know even if it was even if they weren't serving anything right then they still could have come over and said oh we're closed or whatever you know yeah. but no oh. so that was terrible, frustrating. terrible service uh minus kim kim was great yeah kim you're so, wonderful if you ever see this and so if you thank don't you for your help then uh sorry well, so, yeah, let us know in the comments below if you've ate here what you think uh, or if you have any suggestions for where we should go next. Yeah. Because we're always looking for uh, for things to do and sometimes we just don't know what to yeah. do. <laughs> so let us know. We'll see you next time. See ya. Bye.